reading for December 17th, entitled, As a Thief in the Night. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. We know not the exact time of our Lord's coming, but whether it be this year or next year or in several years, Christ has told us that he will come as a thief in the night. He says unto all, Watch. To very, very many he will come in such an hour as they think not. At the time of his coming, men will be asking, Where is the promise of his coming? Satan, the originator of evil, is now revealing his power in the children of men. This is his hour and the power of darkness. Apparently he controls the world. The gospel messenger will find that there is a power moving the world to greater and still greater opposition to Christ and his message. The last great conflict between the forces of good and evil is spoken of as a time of trouble such as never was. The violence which fills the earth will exceed that which existed before the destruction of the old world. Satan is working with all his power to hinder the work of God. If God's people occupy a portion of their time in teaching the delusive sentiments of Satan, the kingdom of evil will rejoice. When those having a knowledge of the path over which God has led us give heed to seducing spirits and depart from the faith, the time and effort required to correct the evils that follow are so much time and effort taken from the work of proclaiming the gospel message. We must warn our brethren and sisters not to give heed to false theories and to beware of those who have allowed themselves to be ensnared. If ever God's watchmen needed to be on their guard, it is now. The trumpet must give a certain sound. There will be a general proclamation of truth. The whole earth will be enlightened with the glory of God, but those only will recognize the light who have sought to know the difference between holiness and sin. When Satan shall have accomplished his work of ensnaring all who will subject themselves to his deceptive influence, when he shall have finished his work of scattering abroad, Christ will rise up and bring deliverance to everyone whose name is found written in the book of life. Satan and his followers will be destroyed. Then they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Taken from Letter 268, dated December 17, 1903, to Dr. David Paulson, at the time director of the American Medical Missionary College in Chicago and editor of The Lifeboat.